Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome you again to the STARS General Information Webinar. The panelists on this call are myself, Nama Kelman, Athlete High Performance Administrator and Logistics Coordinator, and you'll see my name tonight under staff as Susie Worley. And we also have on this call Peter Zappolo, Sports Science and Medicine Manager. For those of you joining us via the Internet, I wanted to give you a couple of items before we begin this session. You have a control panel on your screen. Watching the presentation in full screen mode and turning off any other open applications will give you the best results. You are in a listen-only mode. If you have a question, please text it using the questions area in the control panel. We will try to respond to the questions afterwards if time allows or in a follow-up email. And last, during the webinar, you will have the opportunity to participate by answering different polling questions. Please respond to these when we launch. And now I'm going to hand over this presentation to Peter Zappolo. Hi, Peter Zappolo here. I'm glad everyone is here with us tonight. Um, and I know it's mostly new attendees from last time. And I really appreciate you all taking the time to meet with us tonight. I saw, a, I saw the registered name list. I can't really see who's on right now. Um, and I know a lot of you are calling in by phone. But um, I saw a lot of our Sports Science and Medicine Committee members, a lot of coaches and um, officials, and we're very excited for that, and a lot of club members. But what I always like to do when we start these um, webinars is to find out um, who is on the, the webinar with us. So I'm going to go through an outline really quickly of what we're going to cover tonight. And then we're going to discuss, uh, I'd like to take a quick survey and see who's on the call. So um, I want to talk a little bit about what the STARS program is, um, how we're going to go through how you can register for it, and what you need to know to participate, especially a little focus on the medical clearance, because that's always a question. And then also how to get involved with the trainers. And I know a lot of there's a lot of coaches out there, there's a lot of club members out there, and they want their athletes to be involved in STARS, and um, we really need your help in recruiting trainers for the various STARS combines. And then we'll also talk a, a briefly about the kinds of results you get for the, from this and how that's going to help you and help you help your skaters. And then also, um, Nam and I will tell you about some volunteer opportunities we have that we're super excited about, and we had an awesome time with our volunteers last year. And then last but not least, we'll talk about where we are planning our 2012 STARS combine sites. So, Nam, if you could put up that survey, please, I'd appreciate it. So, what I would like to know is, what is your primary involvement in, in the sport? Are you a coach or a trainer? Are you an athlete? Are you a medical professional? Are you a parent? Or are you none of these? And let me give you about 15 or 20 seconds to answer that question. All right, Nama, can we see those results, please? So I can see that we have uh, mostly coaches and trainers on the call tonight, which is fantastic. We've got a few athletes, and um, I know I saw, I, I peaked, I know some of our Sports Science and Medicine Committee are on on board as well and we've got parents as well so I've really got a, a nice sampling of everybody so I'm gonna pitch this a little bit more towards our coaches and our trainers since that's the bulk of who we have on the call um, and I'll also throw in some other opportunities that we have upcoming for coaches and trainers for more um, STARS education thanks Nama so let me talk a little bit about what STARS came from and I know some of you participated last year um, and I'm, I'm actually going to to briefly ask you that question, if you could share that poll, Nama. Um, I would like to know how many of you have participated with STARS um, last year, which was the first year that we were national. So did you participate as a coach and your students participated? Or did you participate perhaps as a trainer or an assessor? Or maybe you were a parent or athlete? Or, is, or is, are you new to STARS?
All right, Nama, could you close? Could you show us the results, please? So I'm very excited that for the vast majority, um, this will be your first time, first time out with Stars. So that's excellent. So what Stars is is it's an effort by U.S. Figure Skating to bring a standardized way of evaluating um, athleticism in in developing figure skaters, and so it's standardized tests. The tests are very much off the shelf. Um, we tried not to reinvent the wheel. We tried to find things that were tried and true. We've worked very closely with the National Strength and Conditioning Association in doing this. And so basically to bring, to take a snapshot of where your athlete is. So our goal is to really promote all around fitness in, in our American skaters. Um, this really started as an initiative of the um, U.S. Figure Skating Sports Science and Medicine Committee. It started um, long before I was a staff member at U.S. Figure Skating. Um, it has a precedence. Um, I know a lot of you have seen ESPN features the NFL Combine. Um, there's a very popular program called TOPS, T-O-P-S, that USA Gymnastics uses. We're trying to test uh, skills that are relevant to the on-ice sport, and we're also trying to prevent injury at the same time. So we want to have skaters that are, have all-around fitness. We want to keep their athletic abilities and their fitness levels ahead of what they're performing on the ice so that they're training ahead of the skills curve so that when you're the coach and you're out there and you're trying to teach them a double axle, their bodies can actually handle a double axle and actually have the abilities to perform a double axle. And on the same note, to try to keep the skaters skaters healthy and to try to prevent injury by training them ahead of their skills so that you're not asking their bodies to do something that they can't do or that's unsafe for them. So where we're going with this is we would really like for all of our U.S. figure skaters, um, and we're talking age six and up, pre-preliminary and up, we want every skater to participate in STARS every year. And this is going to be really exciting because we're going to be able to watch our skaters develop. And this is so important for parents and so important for coaches to be able to see how your athlete is developing and to be able to pinpoint where they're having some issues. And like I said, maybe it's an injury thing or maybe it's a performance thing. But this is going to give the coaches an, an ammo to go to the parents and say, hey, I know that it's an extra 30 minutes a week or an extra two 30-minute sessions a week to get to the off-ice session, but you know, your, your, your son or daughter's flexibility really needs to be addressed, and this is something that we can that we can work on and this shows you how we can do it. So, you know, this is where we want STARS to go. We're really hyping it at U.S. Figure Skating. If you saw the um, the October issue of Skating Magazine with Rachel Flat on the cover, um, we did a four-page feature. We really pushed the photographs, you know, really um, tried to pump up the participation. We had um, every month we're recognizing one of the top finishing athletes. We're featuring the athlete. We're featuring a tip from a trainer. Um, so we're really pushing the STARS program. Um, so we're, we're trying to recognize the athletes that participate and that do well. At the same time, just by participating in the program, you're able to compare your results to other athletes across the United States. And that's really helpful for the parents, for the coaches, and the athletes to say, boy, I'm really doing well, or I'm a little bit behind in this area, and I need to address it. So when we talk about the STARS testing, we're really looking at three areas. We're looking at strength and power as one area, agility, balance, and coordination in one area, and flexibility as an area. So we always get the question, well, what does it mean when you say what a combine? What does a STARS combine mean? Well, a combine is really an opportunity for the athletes to come and to show off their skills. And so most combines will have a different attributes, and usually they're, I mean, they should be relevant to the sport, to the performance in the sport. So it's really an opportunity for the athlete to show off and to have their, their athleticism assessed. I want to Im impress that all of the combine assessments are off ice. There are no on ice assessments in STARS. The skills evaluated are meant to be relevant to on ice performance, but all assessments are conducted off ice. There's 15 different tests. We also do some body measurements, and we are obviously extremely sensitive about things like weight and different measurements that we do. Um, and we're really looking at what parameters are relevant to skating performance. And this is a really good opportunity to let everyone know that we will never share medical information about anyone and there's never identifiable skater data ever made available to the public. Obviously, we're recognizing our top finishers. We don't think that the coaches and parents are minding that so much if, they're, if their child's number one in the country. Um, so just to quickly go through these focus areas, 
Um, the strength and power tests are various things like vertical jump um, and push-ups and things of that nature. The agility, bounce, and coordination, there's various balance tests. There's a stork stand. There's a T-test, so the ability of them to move their body, um, hex test where they have to change directions. And then flexibility, which is one area where we really did kind of depart from, say, tried and true tests because we wanted to do things that were directly relevant to on ice performance. So we do things like standing spiral. So how can you get involved? Well, one thing that I want to, um, to touch upon that I think was a little bit confusing in our last webinar is I want to make sure that everyone on this, on this call understands that this is a U.S. figure skating program. So I, last time I went through and I highlighted where the different cities that we're going to have stars in this year. And then we got a lot of confused emails like, oh, I'm from such and such city and I don't, I'm the president of the figure skating club and I know nothing about this. Well, we're not necessarily operating with a club. We're not necessarily operating with, you know, we're not, we're not limiting it to any coach, any center, any club. It's a U.S. figure skating program. So I just want everyone to, to understand that first and foremost. Um, to participate, you need to be a U.S. figure skating member. You have to be at least age six. You have to have passed pre-preliminary moves, so you don't even have to be pre-preliminary free skate. Um, and then you also have to have a medical clearance and be injury-free at the time of your assessment. So what happens constantly is, and, and we're, exci we're excited that it happens, is that we always get you know requests like, oh, my athlete's five, but she's really precocious. Can she participate? Or you know, my my son is just about to pass his preliminary moves, but he hasn't quite yet. Um, or other questions like, oh, well, my daughter did it in Detroit, and she was nervous, and she didn't know the test, so can she do it in Los Angeles because we're going to be out there? So unfortunately, the answer to those questions is we don't allow we don't allow them to repeat a combine. They do one combine combine per year, and they do have to meet minimum participation requirements. And the reason for that is we need to have good data in so we get good data out. We need to make it an even playing field, and we need to be able to, uh, to compare the data fairly. Same thing with injuries. We, we had several requests last year. Oh, my son broke his leg. Can he do push-ups? Well, not this time. Um, you know, and some of the questions were silly, and some of them were serious, but we want to make sure that we're giving everyone the most fair um, ability to participate as they can. We're not doing it to be mean. The registration for this year is going to be 100% online. Um, it's going to open on Monday, April 16, 2012, so we have lots of time to get the word out, and you'll see lots of STARS um, advertising between now and then. Um, everything is through our, our STARS website, www.starscombine.org, um, and we'll actually go there in a moment. Um, you're going to go to that website. There will be a registration link. Everything's online, including payment. Um, you can print the medical. We have, a, we have a sample medical clearance form there. You certainly are not limited to that one. We are very flexible about medical clearance. It can be, it just needs to be within the last 12 months. It can be from school. It can be from Little League. It, it can be from karate. Um, but we have to have it. And you have to bring it day of combine. We made multiple reminders last year, and we really had almost no problems. So I'm not concerned about that. Um, but it's a non-negotiable. We have to have that. The price for 2012 is going to be $39, which includes all the testing. You get your results, and you get a STARS t-shirt, which, of course, we want the kids to wear because then we do great photographs and put them on the website. Um, in terms of scheduling, NAMA is doing all the scheduling this year. We're kind of limiting it to being able to request a morning or afternoon time slot. Of course, when it comes down to um, accommodations, we love it when coaches say, you know, I have 15 kids coming. Can you put them all back to back? Of course, we'll do our very best. You know, we want to accommodate coaches. We want to make your lives easy, um, and we want you to. If if you can be there, you know, you can't actually go through the test with your athlete, but the fact that you're there and learning about it is exciting to us, and we're happy to accommodate you. Um, after the registration closes for each of the stars combines, you'll get a printed schedule um, by email, or rather, you'll have a schedule on email, and you can print it. Um, you're going to get a one-hour window. Um, in the busier combines, that was certainly um, more more common. In some of the quieter combines, um, the kids went through a little bit quicker. It really, ironically, it depends on how how athletic your athletes are. If they're the better they do, the longer it takes.